Hey everybody, this is Tony Canyas, and I'm recording a little bit of a prologue to episode 210. Uh, this one is different. Uh, we record, I recorded this one yesterday, and uh, this person is not an insurance person at all. Uh, she runs a company that helps people better manage stress, so when she reached out, I thought it'd be a nice treat to have her on the podcast. So we recorded this yesterday, and... Uh, at times, she's a bit new agey for me, but uh, she does appear to be uh, scientifically based, so I very much respect that. So, so just warning you, this is a little bit of a different episode, and at times, it also might, because she's not in any way part of the insurance industry, she's married to an insurance professional, but, but because she, she's not an insure tech founder or something along the lines directly related to insurance, uh, I was concerned that... that, that you might think this is a sponsored episode of, of, of the podcast. I just wanted to make it clear that this is not a sponsored episode of the, of the podcast. Uh, quite simply, I thought that somebody whose company is dedicated to helping people manage stress would be a, a good uh, match for so many insurance professionals out there, and uh, uh, both in the career and, and the broker world. So anyway, uh, this might or might not be your cup of tea uh, compared to our normal episode. I did have a lot of fun recording it. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff in it. Uh, it's 42 minutes, and I think it is, it is worth your time. Thank you for, for joining us today. Uh, now, on to the podcast. Welcome to Profiles in Risk. This is your host, Tony Kainos, and I think this is going to be episode 210 or so. Uh, and today, I have a special treat for, every, for, for, for all the listeners, because today, I, it's not an insurance, it's not an insure tech founder. And it's not an insurance person at all today. Although I found out about five minutes ago that she's actually fairly closely involved with, 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 with the industry. Uh, today, I have Julie Hutchinson, who is CEO at Core Performance. So, Julie, uh, thank you for joining us. Welcome to, 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 to the podcast. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I was telling Julie, uh, as, as we were about to start recording, that, that the reason I asked her on the podcast is because when, when, when I saw her, her profile uh, and, and what her company does, I thought of, of a, uh, a session that I saw back in 2000, I don't know, 12 or, or so during an Allied Insurance sales conference. Uh, about corporate athletes, and basically what 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 the speaker and I, and I can't remember who the speaker was. My apologies to that speaker, but but what the speaker was talking about was how um, for a how uh, we need to keep ourselves in good shape uh, like an athlete be, because athletes, depending on their sport, compete for five, ten, fifteen, maybe twenty years for baseball. Uh, but in the corporate world, we need to to do this for 30, 35, sometimes 40 years, right? So, so you have to keep yourself in 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 shape. Uh, so, so, so uh, I thought that she that that what she does would be great for for the podcast. So, so, so just, I, I'd love to to start kind of, kind of with with the commercial. Okay, okay, we always give people the the chance of like what, what's the, what's the pitch for for core performance. Yeah, so core performance, we're a resilience training company. So we teach people how to build out their resilience. And the, def the true definition of resilience is how quickly can you recover from and bounce back from adversity or stress. And typically when we begin working with people, well, a scale of one to 10, their resilience could be a two or a three. They may think intellectually they have more, but resilience, so much of it has to do with your emotional intelligence and your physiology, your nervous system. And by the time they go through our program, their resilience is up to an eight, nine, or ten, very, very quickly. Okay. So, 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 other than the mention of emotional intelligence, my first thought is you run a gym. Uh, that, that, that's what it kind of sounds like. Uh, well, I, I get where people can think about that core performance. Oh, it's about perform. Oh, it's your core. You work out with your core. No, actually, uh, for me, and the reason that I named it Core Performance is because it's about the core of who we are, which I truly believe comes from our heart. And so the type of resilience building that I do is literally biohacking your heart frequencies. Now, that might sound a little woo-woo or a little out there to some people, and I'll, I'll share the science behind it. And the reason why I built my company upon that is because our hearts literally send more information to our brain than our brain sends to our heart. 
Now, for many, many years, scientists thought, no, it's the brain that's the master switch, positive mindset, great frame of mind, that'll cure everything. In reality, it's about the heartbeat. And here's, here's a great example of it. Bringing in emotional intelligence. When you feel fear, like if, you're, if you think about something that you're fearful of, your heart is literally beating like this. It's scared, right? The fear. When we change the heartbeat and fear from going very, very fast to moving maybe into peace, like you move from fear to, okay, I can find peace. Now your heartbeat's beating differently. That different signal sends a different signal to the brain. In fear, we're in fight or flight. Our bodies go into fight or flight. In calm or peace, our bodies are relaxed. Our brain can operate at full capacity. That's the quickest and easiest way to explain it. So what we teach people is to move, to be able to shift states very quickly. So where somebody, let's take an insurance producer, for example. She is about, the language and blew, it blew me away. <laughs> let's just say maybe we have a producer listening and they're on the verge of closing one of the biggest contracts that they've ever closed, a Fortune 500 company, and they're this close and they can feel the anticipation and in their mind it's done, it's closed. And at the last minute, they learn that they lose the deal. They lose to one of their biggest competitors. Typically, how long would a producer stay in the state of woe is me, upset, sad, I can't believe I didn't get it, I can't believe it. Some people might stay there for a couple of hours, some people a couple of days, some people, for any producer that's out there, how long did you stay upset that you lost the big deal? If that answer is more than four days, here's what's happening is your body is in that depleting emotional state. You're conditioning it to be woe is me, sad, uh, upset. If we condition ourselves year after year after year doing that, whether it be grief, sadness, fear, then our bodies get used to that. And it start, our bodies start to break down. Our bodies get used to an emotional home that's no longer serving us. So what we teach people is how to shift this emotional home, even if it's subconscious, we're shifting that to a more conscious at will place so that we can have that passion. Our bodies can operate in normally in normal functions. Somebody that's super resilient, who has a healthy nervous system, well, guess what that, that translates into? Health. There's no chronic disease states because you're bringing your body back into balance into a state that we call coherence. And I, for, for, for the listeners, I, I, I won't share which company he, he works. I don't want to get, it, get him uh, in trouble or anything. Uh, but but uh, uh, you actually, when it comes to, to insurance, you, 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 you've lived the life, right? Never worked in insurance yourself, but, but uh, your husband, uh, you were telling me earlier, is, is a producer, right? At, at a large brokerage, uh, benefits focus, focus producer. So, so uh, double win for, for me and my audience be, be, because you, you can speak our, our, our language uh, and really talk to, 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 to what things are, are, are like on, 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 our, on our side. So, so that, that's, that's fantastic. Um, and also, I really like that, that looking at your LinkedIn, that, that, you, that you came from sales, right? Which is what a lot of, uh, of our listeners uh, do. Um, so, so I, I always like, and usually we have like a tech founder talking about, about their career and how, the, how they, they, they came to, to invent an insure tech product. Uh, but but, but in, your, in, in your case, I, I'd love, like, how did you go for, from sales to, to, to starting core performance? Yeah, great question. So uh, I would say probably my claim to fame is I, I helped to start a company called Somnio Solutions that ended up on the Inc's 5,000 fastest growing companies. I was the seventh employee of that company. And when we started the company, we said, we're gonna bootstrap the company. We're gonna go get the largest companies in the world at the time, this was about 15 years ago. We're gonna, we're gonna be on the vendor list of 3M, Hewlett Packard, IBM, big companies. And we were a marketing services agency. And it was my job to get us on the vendor list of all these companies, bootstrapping the companies. 
So we had a lofty vision, lofty goals, and I didn't mind working long hours and being on airplanes and going, going, going. And what ended up happening after the, actually we were in the second year of just going so fast, I got really burned out. I was so focused on producing and the goals and selling, and we're going to, we're going to meet this threshold and we're going to be a super successful company that I literally broke down from the, the stress and the working and when I ended up going to the doctor, he said, well, number one, your blood, blood pressure is through the roof. You might want to consider getting on anti-anxiety medicine, and you may want to consider quitting your job. And I said, none of those are an option, not, not one of them. So I had to figure out how was I going to do my job and learn how to quit putting so much effort and time into it and still be effective. So I did the traditional methods. I went out and got my yoga certification. I worked out differently. I became a raw food or living food chef. I got certified in that. So I changed my diet. I changed my exercise. But here's what happened is when I was on a plane heading to IBM to meet with senior executives to do this huge presentation, if I felt that nervousness in the moment, I couldn't just strike a pose or eat an apple and expect that to go away. Do the, the, Amy, did, the Amy Cuddy uh, power pose. Exactly, I could have done the power the pose, meeting, right? right? But I had to learn, I was like, how do I turn off that stress, that anxiety? How do I do it in the moment? How can I be in control of it versus it being in control of me? And that question was what drove me. And what that led me to is learning how to biohack my heart rhythms. Because when I understood the, the science behind physiology of the human body, I was like, okay, well, if I can change my heart rhythms, I can change everything else in my body. So I became certified in biofeedback and I learned how to do this. And now this is part of how we work with people is we give them the data and biofeedback so they can see when their body's in stress or see when their body's in flow. I mean, how many people would rather work from flow state versus stress state, right? And when you cultivate that, I mean, we've trained ourselves to be in stress at some level. Now we train how to be in flow. And the key is when you, you, you can visit those emotional homes of fear, worrying, anxiety but the key is to not stay there because if you stay there that's when it leads to all kinds of health conditions so we I, teach people how to shift i i really love that 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 that, that, that when you, you most people let's put it this way I, I would call you a deep diver uh what i mean by that a what, is, is a a what diver? A, a deep, deep diver most people w w will m most people dis decide hey i'm in a high stress job i want to start doing yoga they start doing yoga you go get certified <laughs> like, like you repeated that like three times every every time you, you found something like oh this might be helpful you didn't just do it you like went and, and got certified to teach it uh so so it's it's, it's very very interesting to to me uh and I, I'm, I'm glad that that's the, that's the path you decide to take because that allows us to, uh, allows you to, to to help to 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 help other people. Uh, and when I was looking at at your website uh, before uh, be, before we recorded, um, yeah, some of the things so, some of the some of the of the, of the things seemed at first a little uh, a, a little how how do I put it a, a, a little voodoo uh, to me. Voodoo. I, I, I I love that 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 you actually link the science, uh, that 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 right. Uh, I I really appreciate that in in this time, and I'll try not to get political, but in in this time of of uh, science denial, uh, in my opinion, uh, in, in it it's it's great to see uh that that if you're doing something a little less traditional, you care about the science and, and making sure that it's empirically backed. And sharing that with with your potential clients, uh, that that uh, I, is very, uh, very very important. I, I, it's I, very I it is very important, and I'll, I'll share a little bit more about that. When I worked with Somnio, and my goal was to to get off the road and and be in flow and sell more than I could sell otherwise. When I learned how to do it, a lot of people would say, "Well, those are some woo woo techniques." 
However, they worked. And so I, as I learned them, somebody invited me, gave me a referral to go meet with Matt Brown, who was the head of the University of Texas football. I live in Austin, Texas. They're like, oh man, the football team could use this. So I got a meeting with Matt Brown and his assistant uh, uh, coach. And I was talking with them and, and they said, look, if you're gonna come in here and train our boys in football, you better have some science behind what you're talking about. That's actually what had me move more into the science. Like I have to prove what I'm doing or other people will think, well, this is just woo woo stuff. Mm -hmm. And if yep. it didn't, and if it didn't work for somebody that I was training, they would say, I told you so it doesn't work. Well, there's, there's beliefs behind all of that. I won't get into that now. However, when I have the empirical data and I can show you, well, your body is in this stress state. You are trying to close deals or create something in your business. And your mind is saying, I can do it. I can do it. I believe I can. But your heart's in so much fear or anxiety. You're completely incongruent. And so when I can show you, if you can say it here and believe it here in your heart and condition your body to receive that through the science and through the biofeedback, now you're talking because now you're aligning head with heart and you're in full alignment. Now, the key is I can get people in alignment, but can I get them to hold it? And the first week, they'll hold it for a little bit, but then the mind comes back in. You know, the mind wants to come, oh, this doesn't work. That's not going to work for me. This is too easy. Uh, you know, I've had somebody say, if I don't work hard to earn my money, then it's not worth it. And I'm like, wow, that's quite a belief. Right. So it's, it, I'm really working in the human body. The way I, I say it is that the human body, what we're doing is like the hardware is the body. So we're upgrading the hardware from the autonomic nervous system, getting that into balance. The software is your thoughts. It's your consciousness. And if you choose to be better at what you're doing, but everything is conditioned right now for your current frame of mind, you need an upgrade. Just like a computer, you got to upgrade the hardware and the software. So we teach people how to consciously do this from their core, hence core performance. So we upgrade the, the, physiology with the biofeedback and we upgrade this the the consciousness of the software through how you think okay um so if if, if, if i understand correctly looking at your website you you've got um services aimed at individuals so 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 i can bring you in by myself just just to train me and you've also got kind of aimed at the corporation like like bringing in as, as a benefit type 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 of thing uh, right. So, 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 uh, um, let's start for, from the individual perspective, right? So, so, so if, if, if a listener, just an individual contributor or just, they're just a regular insurance professional and, uh, their right, stress is, is eating them up, uh, they can feel it in, in, in their body and they work for a traditional, uh, insurance organization that's probably, uh, not ready to 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 play out to to play along kind of at the, at the corporate level. Uh, what what does it look like? Bring bring in, bring in a member of your team in to 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 help me as as an individual. So first of all, what we do is we do offer a complimentary strategy session, and we do that for two reasons. Number one is we learn where somebody is today and where they choose to go. So if they say, "Look, I've got a lot of stress, overwhelm, and anxiety, and I'm not meeting my numbers." And I'm really worried that I might get fired or may not get my stock options or whatever it might be. So we look at where they are, and where they choose to go. Then we look at what their level of commitment is. Are they ready to commit and do the work to get there? Are they resourceful and are they decisive? And are they coachable? If they say yes to all that, look, I'm ready to go. I, I'm coachable. I'm resourceful. And we know we can get them there. We have 100% certainty that based on where they are and where they want to go, our program will help them get there. And they, they're committed, decisive, and resourceful. We'll invite them into the program. Now, the other thing is they're also looking at us. 
Is this the right company to get me where I choose to go? If all those are aligned, we, we extend an invitation. We don't work with everybody. We work with people that we know we can help and that are ready to go. So that's number one. And that what that looks like is we have a foundational program that lasts for three months. There's accountability partners. There's a back end. We call it the Resilient Transformation Academy. They can come in and watch all these videos on their own time. They get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me or one of our trainers. And so they've got all this support because a lot of times people have these goals, but if they're not held accountable, it's harder to, to manifest them, right? It's that accountability piece is key. And so that's the individual program. That's what we call our signature program. And that's where lots of transformation happens. It's not a knowledge center. You don't come in and study and just gain knowledge. You literally transform your life in this program. So it's a lot, lots of experience in there. So that's the first part. And I'm, I'm assuming you, you can, like, uh, uh, I'm assuming you don't have to go to Austin to, to participate. We moved everything online during this, this era of COVID. We've mo moved everything online and that's, we have weekly group coaching sessions online with the whole community. And then we also have individual ones, just like what we're doing here, where we just meet face-to-face -face on, on Zoom or, or another platform. And what, what's the, the uh, time commitment per week? It starts off, it's a little heavy, heavily stacked the first two weeks because you're, you're, you are learning the two foundational techniques the first two weeks. So I would say the first week is probably four hours, four or five hours. The second week's three to four hours. And then each week after that is probably two hours a week. I say that as minimum, the people that actually start to get the technique and implement it they'll practice much longer than that because you have a biofeedback device and you can hook up to it anytime. I mean, I've had some clients who are like, why would I ever take this off? I feel absolutely amazing. So they'll practice for an hour a day. So it really just depends on how quickly you want to move, how serious you are and how motivated you are. So I, I, I'm looking at, 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 the, uh, at the devices on, on your website and I'll, if, assuming my, my video editing skills are, are decent enough, I'll I'll have them on screen like like I'll I'll show the, the kind of on screen for for a couple of seconds uh, when you when you when you mention them. Uh, but so 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 if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you you'll be able to 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 see what they look like. Uh, but but tell me a little bit about about, about the devices. Like 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 do 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 I like do I like like it looks to me like like I kind of put it on my belt. And then the uh, the clip goes like on my shirt or something like like, like how, how do I put it on? Yeah, so it's uh, plugged into your. We have a wireless one and a wired one. So let's just say you have the wireless one. You just uh, hook it onto your lapel, and then there's a little clip that clips onto your ear. And <laughs> okay. So uh -huh. Your hands free, just clips okay. onto your ear. So what it's doing is it's first reading your pulse, and through your pulse, it can detect your heart rhythms. And as it's detecting your heart rhythms, it's really easy to use because it's color coded. When you're stressed, you're red. When you're not so stressed, but not in a flow state, you're blue. Flow state is green. So ideally you look at that and you go like, okay, I choose to be in green. Now that being said, you could spend the first two weeks in green at level one, there's four levels. After you've reached a certain threshold, in on the first level, then we take you to the second level, third level, fourth level, so that you're constantly being challenged, but you're also winning at the same time. So there's a challenge, win, challenge, win to keep you interested and keep you going. And then there's some deeper dive screens on there. We have four different screens. And during the program, we teach you about all the screens and all the little nuances that are going on there and the different reads out and, and how to understand the readouts. Okay. Uh, so, so time commitment, uh, four hours, the first week, four hours, second week, kind of, kind of thing. After that, about two hours. Uh, it sounds to me that, like this is something that, that I can just like, kind of do on Saturday. Uh, kind of thing. So, so like, I'm not, I'm not like missing out on, on like, work work hours uh well here's the cool thing about it is a lot of people will say well it just seems like a lot of time and what i tell them is what if you invested that time up front and then two weeks later you were so hyper focused and had such clarity 
that your productivity went up 40%, would it be worth it? So now your productivity is going up. So those things that used to take you 10 hours to do now only takes you six hours because you've got the step-by-step -step system going. You know exactly how to do it. So you're becoming, you're functioning that much better as a human being and doing what you're, you're here to do, doing the task and finishing your task on time or even before the time. So your productivity increases by, we hear on average by about 40%. Oh, wow. That, yeah. It, it, so if, if you're a carrier side non-sales employee, uh, a 40% productivity improvement will get you promoted basically, or, or will free up the time to do CPCU or CIC uh, without losing a beat at work. Uh, if you're a producer, uh, that is significant money. If you can make yourself 40% uh, more, more, more efficient or more effective, that, that is fantastic. Um, so looking at, at, at the store, I, I like that, that, that the prices are clearly shown on, on the devices. So devices run from 129 to 199 bucks. Uh, what, uh, I don't know how much you can share, uh, uh, how much is the financial commitment for the individual program if one gets accepted in? Well, that's the thing is people will ask us, well, how much? And we'll say, well, we don't even know if you're qualified yet. And so the number one thing is, are they qualified and can we help them? And that's something that we do offer incentives for people that are ready to go after they do the, the strategy session. So we bring that price down a little bit more if they're ready to go. But there's, you know, we look at what is the most important thing is commitment, resourceful and coachable. And can we help them get there? And that's something that we share with them in the strategy sessions. Okay. And the, the, the strategy session, is that free or, or, or is that like a one-time cost? That, that is complimentary, the strategy session. Oh, okay. Session. Okay. Perfect. That's what I thought you had, you, you had said. Okay. okay. Yeah. And what, what we like to do is that for anybody that's interested in the possibilities of having a strategy session is we have a webinar. And we do encourage you to watch the webinar before you book the strategy session. And this is why is because the webinar talks about our program. It's called five ways to biohack your physiology to reduce stress, burnout, and increase productivity by 40%. When you watch that webinar, number one, you're going to look at it and go, oh, okay, this, I get it a lot more. I'm still interested. Or you'll look at that webinar and go, nope, that's not for me. So we don't want to waste your time. And we don't want to waste our time either. So I can get you that link and you can put that link below this too. Yes. The webinar will, is free. People can watch I, that for free. I will definitely include the, the website for core performance. Uh, normally, I, I link the, the, the person's LinkedIn since you're – on the other hand, if, if, if I'm uh, you know an agency principal with 30 employees or 100 employees or whatever or my own boss uh, at, at, at Jacobson with, with you know 75 employees – uh, and this sounds re very, very interesting, right? And, and I'm thinking, huh, uh, people in better health are more productive. They're also uh, cheaper to, to keep healthy, right? My health insurance premiums will, will be lower if, if I can keep them healthier. There's good research on, on that. So, so from the corporate perspective, what, 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 what does the corporate service uh, look like? Yeah, great question. So I'm going to preface that by saying something because I have worked with a lot of people in human resources. And one of my first questions with them is, as human, as human resources, you have access to data about your insurance premiums. Of that data that you have access to, tell me year over year for the past three years, how much of your increase in premiums have been due to medical costs associated with stress-related diseases like high blood pressure, hypertension, sleep aid, anxiety, depression. You I've know never what worked in HR, me? but I'm thinking a wild guess that, that it's, go ahead, what, what do they tell it's you? through the roof, through the roof. And of course, you know, we hear premiums just keep going up and up and up and you look at prescription drugs and it's especially in this day and age, people are stressed out. But here's the problem is, did you know that up to 80% of primary care doctor visits are stress related? 80%, and I think that's kind of a low number. I think oh, it actually right that, now. That is, that's nice. sad. Okay. Not, not it's shocked, sad. but it is it's sad. It's sad because what happens in, in stress, I'm just going to throw out a couple of symptoms that stress has. Irritable bowel, anxiety, depression, restless leg syndrome, um, 
constipation. I mean, all these things that could lead to heart attack, stroke, all this stuff is, is based in stress. However, if you go to the doctor for any of those, the doc, just like me, the doctor will say, take this pill, get on this anti-anxiety, get on high blood pressure medicine. Yet only 3% of people actually get help to reduce stress. So what I say is, well, why don't you just give your employees this, these tools and techniques to deal with stress so they can turn it off. So, so if an event happens and they get stress, they're not living in stress for the next eight hours because now the cortisol is streaming through their blood system, their adrenals are activated and they can't slow them down and it affects their performance. Teach them how to turn it off. So that being said, that's what the corporate programs are about. The corporate programs are about bringing in, everybody gets a biofeedback sensor and we teach you those techniques that when you feel that stress, how it shows up in your body and be able to turn it off. So you now have access to shifting and replacing overwhelm into peace, fear into faith, sadness into joy. Now, when you do that, we teach you in, in the corporation, we teach you guys what, what's the science behind that? Why is emotional intelligence so important? Once you learn the technique, and so those, those classes are about five weeks and we do them online now. Some companies bring me in, but most of them are online because a lot of the employees are around the world. And so you learn those techniques as a group. So that is uh, one of the corporate trainings that we have. Then the other one that we will well, pause there and see if you have any questions on that one. No, no, no questions. Just keep okay. going. Then the other one that we have is called activating the heart of teams. And if you have a team that works together, I'll give you an example. I just uh, did a training for agile coaches. They were all coaches together in this one. who happened to be an insurance company. And so we went in and we activated the heart of those teams, meaning that when you're in stress and anxiety, you're not activating the full potential of your heart. Teach you how to turn off the stress and anxiety. Now you're learning to co-create and collaborate with your team. So we bring the team synergy together. And that is the third training is activating the heart of teams. So by, by activating the heart, you, you physically mean... Uh, getting the heart to pump better, like like I, I so activating the heart sounds very uh, new agey to me. So 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 I'm I'm curious like what you actually mean by activating the heart. Yeah, great question. So what I mean by that is now for some people this might sound woo woo, but again it's based in science. <laughs> is that the heart has its own intuitive intelligence, and I'm just going to say this that when the baby is in the womb, the very first thing that is developed is the heart, right? So it's the first okay. thing that gets developed. When we activate the intuition of the heart and we have this really cool exercise that when you can, when you can start to change your own heart rhythms and you become familiar with that, we do an exercise where you solve a problem from your head and then you solve the same problem from your heart after you've learned how to activate it or biohack your heart. And you get completely different answers from the heart than you get to the head from the head. And you combine those for your action strategy to move forward. So when you say woo, it sounds woo-woo, activating the heart of teams, is for some, yeah, it's woo-woo. However, once you learn to do it, you're like, why is my intuition off the charts? Like your intuition starts to grow. You'll think about something or somebody and then you'll see them the next day or they'll call. That's what we mean that when you're, when you're activating it and syncing the heart rhythms, you have access to its intuitive intelligence. And there's a lot of science behind it. So if anybody's listening to this and they would like the science, I definitely can point them in the direction of the science of that. Okay, so so um, for 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 the real skeptics out there, and and I'm sure that we <laughs> that, that we have some uh, uh, how 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 do I, how do I put it? So some salty, very experienced, very mature. Uh, I'm sure that we 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 have some some uh, very mature, you know, 25, 30 year uh, 
veteran agents out there who, who are skeptics. Um, so, so where would you point them? Like, like, like what should they read that might uh, be from a source that they, that they trust that, that, that might start opening their mind to, 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 to everything that you provide? What's the easiest entry point? I have a book that I recommend called From Chaos to Coherence. Okay. Grounded in Science. I'll definitely include it in the links. Uh huh. Chaos to Coherence. Uh, any book on emotional intelligence. I think there's one just actually called Emotional Intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. Uh, we like, like more than, than, than a ton of, of science ba ba backing that. Yeah. Uh, so, so no, so no, no, no question on that side. Okay, okay. So, so, so from chaos to coherence by uh, Bruce Cryer, the power to yep. change performance. Okay, I'll and, definitely uh, include the another link. one. One of my favorite books is uh, Stealing Fire. Stealing written, Fire. Stealing Fire, uh, mm -hmm. written by the person who also wrote wrote Rise of the Superman. And I'll just give you a quick synopsis on uh, Stealing Fire. It's a sequel to Rise of the Superman. Um, basically, what they're saying is technology today is now catching up with how to biohack human performance. So you get people that are just at the top of their game in sports. You know, they, they've, they've learned, you know, like a Michael Jordan, how does he get so good? How, if you were to break down his mindset and how he practices, can we replicate that and teach it to other people? Well, what Stealing Fire, uh, the book is about all kinds of cool things to biohack things in the body. So there's one called the God helmet. You put this helmet on, it, it looks at your brain waves and, and says, okay, when you're in flow state, what brain wave are you in? Well, typically you're in a theta brain wave. And so they're doing all this research. Uh, there's something called the muse by Deepak Chopra. And you put that around your head and it teaches you what, what, uh, what brain rhythm that you're in. And, and you try to get to that theta state, and which also accesses the subconscious. So stealing fire for any of the, any of you skeptics out there, like, oh, this stuff doesn't work. This is just a bunch of woo-woo stuff. Go read some of these books because there's evidence and there's data. And, and then the next thing I would say is try it yourself. I mean, I could, uh, I don't, if you're interested in a strategy session, I could show you a couple of things in a strategy session that'll just rock your world that you know people when they learn this technique they go golly why didn't anybody ever tell me this before this stuff they should be teaching you in kindergarten perfect i i i love the challenge come and do a strategy session and and see see if if if, if it if it makes a difference for you uh see, see if it makes you a believer yeah uh okay beautiful beautiful uh stealing fire uh looks uh very interesting i i might jump on, on, on there's an audible version i'm a big audiobook guy uh, so, so I might jump on on on, on the on, on the on the audiobook version, and a lot a lot of what you're t uh, talking about makes me uh, reminds me of of uh, of Sean Arker, uh, I believe that's his name, the 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 author of of, of, of uh, the Happiness Advantage, uh, which was a book that that was life changing for me and, and that I've recommended to, to to many many people, and, and uh, what I loved about it was that that it it was. Um, research based right so 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 everything that he suggested a lot of it sounds like like new age bs but but it's all based on 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 his uh uh empirical research at at, at harvard and 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 uh, for for me it was it was absolutely life-changing uh yeah, so, so yeah i'll, still, I'll, share, a quick, Go I'll ahead. share a quick story with you about that um, i had the opportunity to meet sean we were invited oh, by awesome. the, uh, U.S. Surgeon General about three years ago wanted to bring emotional health forward as a pillar of health in America, not just physical and mental health. We've talked about, we've got to bring emotional health. So Sean was there along with uh, Jean Kabat-Zinn, Marianne Williamson, Dean Ornish. And so I got a chance to meet all these people and Sean stood up and told a story. And he said, you know, my dad thought I was nuts. I was going to Harvard to get this degree. And what do you mean you're studying happiness? That's just woo-woo stuff. You know, I mean, his dad was like, are you kidding me? You know, his dad was in that camp of woo-woo. And he said, no, dad, I mean, it's really, it's scientifically based. And I share that because, you know, when we talk about woo-woo, I mean, Sean is just knocking it out of the park with the stuff that he's doing. He's making a difference in a lot of people's lives. And 
And I think part of his driving force was that his dad did think it was woo-woo. So he had to ground it more in science and he just did a brilliant job in grounding that. If, if you happen to still be connected with him in any way, I'd love to have him on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> just okay. saying. Just saying. Love to have him on the podcast. Uh, interestingly, he has uh, done some consulting work for Nationwide Insurance. So he's not a stranger to, to the insurance industry. Uh, in fact, uh, Orange Frog, which I believe is now available on Amazon, what, uh, what, what he, if I'm not mistaken, uh, wrote for uh, Amazon, uh, for, for Nationwide, uh, for, for a training program at Nationwide. I, I don't think they brought him in to actually teach it, but if I understand correctly, he designed the, the program uh, for Nationwide. Uh, so, so, so anyway, he's, he's not a stranger to the industry, but I, I'd love to have him on the podcast because I'm a huge, huge fan of, of, of the Happiness Advantage. So just saying, uh, <laughs> I would totally nerd out about that. All right. uh, so, so Julie, it, it, it's been a lot of fun. It, it, it really has been a lot of fun. Uh, we're recording here on, on October 12th in the middle of, of, of COVID <laughs> and, and what is hopefully uh, towards the, the beginning of the end of, of COVID, hopefully, right? Yes, hopefully. Uh, this will probably go live tomorrow uh, because I, I, I don't have, I, sometimes I have a bunch of, of episodes that are just waiting to be released. Uh, right now I have a couple, but, but nothing that's urgent. So, so this will probably go, go live tomorrow. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for, for, for joining us. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, the, the fact that, 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 that you happen to be married into the industry was, was a pleasant surprise. I had no idea. Uh, and that you spoke the language. So any, 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 any parting words? Uh, for for the insurance audience. Yes, I just one thing. I'm going to invite people that are listening to this to notice what your emotional home has been most of the day today. Have you been living in an emotion of joy, peace, gratitude, happiness? Or has your emotional home for this day been more about fear, worry, anticipation, anxiety? You have a choice. So choose wisely your emotional home. I, I, I really think it's, it's a wonderful message. And, and especially there, during this time where, where, where in insurance, basically all of us have been home for six months now, right? We've all been working from home and this was not expected. Well, I'm a remote worker anyway, but, but, but uh, for, for the great majority of them, this was completely unexpected. And, and, and for the leaders who had to, to transition uh, from, from leading teams in person to all of a sudden leaving them remotely with no middle ground, right? With, with, a, with, a, with an unexpected shift because of COVID uh, and that right now are sitting there and they know that they probably won't be back fully in the office for a few months um, until we have a vaccine and it's well distributed. Uh, with, you know, we'll, I'm, I'm guessing April next year at the very latest, at the very earliest. Uh, and then on top of that, as we, it'll be a new reality, right? It, it, it'll be a, 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 a new normal. So, so I, th I think that, that uh, as you're preparing for a new normal, it might be the, sounds to me like the perfect time to, to invest in, your, in yourself and, and, and your team, uh, making sure that they're in the best possible place. They, they can be. It, 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 you reminded me a lot of when you were talking about the, the corporate version of the, of the program. It reminded me a, a lot of of uh, EAP uh, services, right? Of, of the of the employee assistance uh, programs that that at this point most corporations or most larger corporations offer to their employees. I, I'm sure when when companies started talking about right, the, the first few companies that started talking about about offering EAPs, I, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, it, they were they, they they, I'm sure the board thought they were cookie, uh, and, and now most companies offer them because because really your employees' emotional well-being is 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 a huge part of of the company being productive and 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 them staying healthy. So it 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 sounds to me like like, like a similar type of of investment as as getting an NEAP program. Um, so thank you so much for 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 joining me today. Um, you're welcome. Thank you for having it, me. It, it was a lot of fun, uh, and at, at, at the very least, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to pick up a, a copy of Stealing Fire, and, and uh, maybe I'll do a book review on, on the podcast at some point. So so th 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 thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. Nice, nice to meet you, and uh, happy to be here.